Good morning. When I was 13, my parents allowed me to go on a school trip. Looking back, I'm not sure how they were able to afford it because we were not a well-off family. However, they somehow found the money and I set out on what was called the Easter coach trip. It was snowing when we set out about 5.30am on Easter Saturday, 1958. Our ultimate des destination was Lugano in Switzerland, which we reached at the end of the fourth day, having travelled through France and hence into Switzerland. After spending four days in Lugano, we returned to Woking, stopping at different places in Switzerland and France to those we had stopped at on the outward journey. It was a lovely 12 days holiday for me. On our third day in Lugano, we had a trip across the border into Italy, to Milan to be precise. During the time in Milan, I was able, together with some others, to go to the top of Milan Cathedral. In 2006, Elizabeth and I went for our holiday to Italy. We travelled by train directly to Milan. We only stayed there for the night before we moved on to other parts of Italy, after which we returned to Milan where we stayed a few days before returning to England and home. While we were in Milan, Elizabeth and I were able to go together to the top of the cathedral. For me, it was 48 years since I'd last been up, whereas it was the first time for Elizabeth. It meant that she too was able to see the amazing view. The day before, we'd been able to be present at the canonisation of two people, it took place in the open, outside the cathedral. Strictly speaking, we should have had tickets, but we were allowed to sit on some spare seats just inside the barriers. It was an amazing service which lasted three hours, and we were pleased to have been able to attend. It involved the Archbishop of Milan and a representative of Pope Benedict. We didn't understand much of the service as it was in Latin, but we could follow the various components of the Eucharist because we know them. Needless to say, the service was televised and we saw some of it again on the TV in the evening when we were back at our hotel. Sadly, when we were there, we didn't go to La Scala because we only had casual dress. However, when we came home, we were told that many people don't dress up anyway. We wish that we'd book tickets after all. Still, there may be a next time. Well, I could tell you a lot more about that holiday in Italy, but I'll do so on another occasion. Let me finish with a prayer. Heavenly Father, you know how difficult it is to travel at the moment. We pray that as we reach our new normal, people will be able to enjoy, as Elizabeth and I did, time in Italy and Milan in particular. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Enjoy the rest of your day.